very interesting cars, under the general name Hot Rod. Good day, dear subscribers and visitors of my channel. Surely many of you have heard the name of the group of cars as a hot rod. Where did it come from and what is Phil I will try today to tell. So what is a hot rod? Everyone seems to know the meaning of this word. Often, this word means some old car with a powerful engine and a high sticking air intake, large rear wheels with lights on the body. But someone came up with the idea to make a beast out of an old car. A little digress from the subject of the story. Naturally, hot rods appeared in the United States. It's hard to imagine this hobby in Europe 30 eyes 40 eyes, I will not explain why. The word hot rod America learned in the 40s of the 20th century, although the movement of hot rodder appeared much earlier. Since the Great Depression, the younger generation gathered in their garages the first charged cars. Available cars at that time was not enough the most common of them is the Ford Model and Model A cheap cars did not have powerful engines, and many wanted to ride with the wind. In addition, not only for fun, but that in the pursuit of police, you can hide in the days of prohibition these machines are often used to transport alcohol smuggling bootleggers. But not each of these machines was criminal, many were going to ordinary guys who dreamed of a fast car. First Hot Rods The first hot rods were made from improvised materials, many parts of the master were found in landfills. All the changes were concentrated on increasing the speed. The engines were boosted or replaced with other, more powerful ones, which were found in landfills. To reduce the weight of the car, many interior elements were thrown out, only the steering wheel, seat and other vital items remained. Comfort items were unscrewed and just as mercilessly thrown out. Improved aerodynamics was done by eye, without any calculations. To improve the streamlining, the clearance was reduced, the racks were cut and made shorter, in consequence of which the roof fell lower and the slope of the windshield became larger. Even the wheels had flat caps. To increase the speed, the rear wheels were made bigger. As a result, these cars could accelerate to more than 100 miles per hour and left far behind many expensive and prestigious cars of those times. The hot rod movement is said to have started in Southern California. It was in these places that the best conditions for doing such a thing were direct roads from city to city and dried salt lakes, where it was possible to develop maximum speed. The first hot rods were collected mainly on the basis of cheap roadsters, and it was very rare to find sedans or coupes. Since not everyone could afford two cars, hot rods were altered so that it was possible to use them for everyday trips to work, to the store and to the places where the race was held. Hot Rod Races Favorite entertainment hot rodder was you lat some expensive sports car at a traffic light, but they also loved to drive with each other for the cup of the yard. Often, every American town had a main, fairly straight street that goes down. In these places, hot rodders gathered at night and chased, figuring out who is faster. And if the police prevented them from doing so, they moved to country roads or salt lakes. In general, it was born and raced for acceleration, which was called drag racing. This movement became popular when hot rodders received a worthy donor engines. In 1932, the Ford Group has released a V8 model with a capacity of 85 horsepower which was inexpensive. Apart from the power, the Ford engine had almost endless possibilities for forcing. And the main advantage in its availability, because he immediately became a favorite hot rodder. But the heyday of this trend came after the Second World War. The guys who collected the first hot rods went to the army, where they told about their hobby to all their colleagues. They returned from the army already with money, the military in the United States is always well paid. Go for a new car in the showroom was useless, because with the experience of repair and construction of machines. Can be remaking the old. Already not so much shackled financially, they began to build the machines of their dreams. And then the passion for hot rods covered the entire post-war America. Over time. The construction of hot rods became entertainment for the rich. Good hot rod details from the dump was not enough needed serious investments. Many who began to make these cars are not for speed, but simply as a stylish vehicle. 
A new impetus in the hobby of hot rods was the appearance in America of oil cars affordable cars with a large and powerful engine. It turned out that such engines and chassis were able to withstand more power, the people began to redo them. But don't tell me, hot rods have become one of America's strongest car hobbies. Even after the emergence of new oil cars, a lot of people continued to make their cars on the basis of the old Fords of the 30s. Because many Americans while driving on the hot rod mastered a certain spirit of freedom, because for them it was not just a car, but a whole way of life. Cute cars turned out the Americans, and what we have in the country did not do such cars. Of course did, however various constraints in the SDA is not allowed to go to work on these monsters, but something that remained at the photos here were inspired by the Zealand lawns. Vidoc they certainly still the one. But the heart does not order, fans of such cars and these days is not enough and they are now not small money. About hot childbirth I have everything, subscribe to my channel, it is not fresh. Goodbye, peace to your home, peace of mind and see you.